Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how to convert your existing uh, Windows 7 or Windows machine into a virtual machine. So as you can see here, we've got a Windows 7 64-bit uh, operating system with all our programs installed, and uh, you can convert this into a virtual machine. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there's different ways of going about doing this. There's a VMware vCenter converter which you can use. Or you can use something like Disk to VHD, which is a Sys Internals free download program you can use to actually create this for you. We're going to be using uh, Paragon's Hard Disk uh, Manager 12. This is a new suite that they've got running, and uh, we're going to open this up. And all you need to do here is come down to where it says Virtualization. I'm going to click on this and then go to P2V Copy. Click on that. This will open up this program what we want to do here is go next and you can see the selections that it's got for us on our hard drive so you can see I've got some partitions here partition D and E these I don't want to copy these I just want the actual operating system so what I'm going to do is put a tick in these and take this one out of the archive and storage and I'm just going to copy the actual system reserved and local disk C I'm just going to leave these other two out so I'm going to go next and then we get the option to uh, take our vet, a virtual software vendor. I'm going to be using VirtualBox here, um, but you can use whatever you like. I'm going to go next here. You can select what, how much uh, memory you want to allocate it. So I'm just going to bump this up a little bit. I'm going to give it about, uh, let's just say about this much. That'll do. So I'm going to go next and then next again and we can now store this onto our drive so let me just uh, whack that onto our desktop so we can see what we're doing here I'm just going to put this on my desktop for now so you can see hopefully we've got enough space go next and then that will start to create and copy the partition Okay, so that's now complete. It did take some time because uh, this is quite a big drive. So I'm going to click finish. And here we have our file on our desktop. We can now close this off. And you can make adjustments to this, but here we have our actual 86.9 uh, GB file. And we're going to run this on our virtual machine now. So what we're going to do next is fire up our Oracle VirtualBox. Now you can see here I've already got some operating systems in here. But if I want to create a new one, all I need to do is come down to the operating system that I want to use. And I'm going to call this um, I'm going to call this clone. And we can just put in the amount of memory we want, say that much. You're going to use our existing virtual hard drive here. We need to change this and uh, we can browse to this file so what we need to do here is go to our desktop and click on this file here click open and create and once that's done we can then fire this up this will then fire up and it will boot our operating system up that we've just uh, created. So here you can see we have a complete uh, copy of our existing operating system inside VirtualBox and uh, it's got all our programs and stuff on it as you can see and uh, basically if I reduce this down in size you will see that is a copy of it here. So that's basically how you can make a copy of your existing operating system and then run it inside uh, a VM uh, piece of software like VirtualBox or something like that and that's how you do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all the latest videos when I upload them, okay? Now, I'm very sorry about um, the comments. I can't do anything about it. I'll try to uh, reply to people, but they've changed the system now, and I can't uh, reply to everyone because it's now on Google+. So I hope you understand that. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.